People, today, we don't care what Matthew, Matthew Odom has to say, because we've had three cocktails already, and this is our fourth. Uh, we do care that he likes Barley Swine, my second favorite restaurant in Austin. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Secret Sena and surprises. And today was a definite surprise because I thought I had received an early copy of Hunters, the new uh, GMT title solo sub game. But I didn't. I received something completely different. And my first reaction when I received this game was, what the hell? I didn't order this game. I wanted to order this game, but I forgot to order this game. And then they said they were shipping and it didn't come. And I realized I hadn't ordered this game and I'd missed the opportunity to get my pre-order discount. And I was kind of bummed. Because I, I, I just wanted to play this game and uh, and I thought that uh, although the first title, I, it didn't grok for me, I didn't really get it, I was going to give this a second chance. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am talking about Roads to Moscow. How is that for a sweet Secret Santa gift? That and Arden from uh, the, uh, the game is the SES title, which, hey, Jeff Newell, dude, you can poop on it and say it's a crap game, but I'm going to like it. I like the Bastone title. I think I'll like this one as well. Is it missing some chrome? Yeah, but that's why it's called the Simple Combat System, buddy. Anyway, Rose to Moscow. Two battles, both mostly unpronounceable by myself. Here, can you pronounce that word? You can see that word. Mozhayesk and Minsk. M T E N S K. So I'm pretty excited about this because it fits right into the uh, wheelhouse of the World War II stuff we're looking at right now with our chronological walkthrough. We can do some comparative uh, assessment with some other games that I have that cover similar time periods scales and battles and so I'm very very excited and very thankful to Secret Santa who gave me uh, a fairly hard time in a good way about uh, the uh, art piece that was called Twilight Struggle um, so he knew about that and watched that video despite the fact that someone had tried to uh, have it banned and have it age restricted nice try punks but here it is, uh, Road to Moscow, fun and games, Secret Santa is over and done with. I think this is the last package uh, from him, he said. So I'm very pleased and very thankful. I mailed my stuff off today to my uh, victim and they will receive some candy from all around the world, different places, and also a couple of uh, cool games that uh, I th that they were on their list and that I added an expansion to it and I hope that they enjoy them so I think that uh, Board Game Geek has something fantastic going on here with this Secret Santa program it's, it's fantastic and I think it, uh, it's an opportunity for us to uh, both give and receive and I hope all of you who have not participated before perhaps next year will and those that are this year enjoy it and get the most out of it don't count up the dollars, don't look at the pluses and minuses, and don't uh, do any accounting on what you gave and what you received. Just give uh, from uh, where it counts the most, from your heart. All right, guys, all the best, and uh, I will break a, a solemn rule and say Merry Christmas before Thanksgiving in the United States. All the best.